Welcome to week three of the Madden 08 PC version. This is a um, historical franchise featuring the 1986 season and I'm using the Indianapolis Colts. This week I'll be facing the San Diego Chargers. The San Diego Chargers, and I'm going to look here at the um, kind of the game plan, I guess, for the opponent. Let's see, special teams, mix up the play calling. They don't single out, single out any particular players but the San Diego Chargers during this time they were kind of entering the end of a you know really good um, decade or so of uh, offensive football they really toward the end of the 70s the early 80s revolutionized the passing game Dan Fouts um, Charlie Joyner Wes Chandler Kellen Winslow, and if I'm not mistaken, I think it was uh, Corey Coriel. They might have called Coriel, but he really, you know, they they revolutionized the passing game. In '86, uh, I think Fouts was 30, 35. Um, one of the receivers, I can't remember if it was Chandler or Joiner, but one of them was like 38. Uh, Winslow's getting up. You know, all their offensive weapons were up over 30 years old. The um, the defense has some 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 good players, and there's Fouts and Winslow, and I think that's I think that's Chandler. I'm not positive, but the defense has some good young guys. They have a uh, young Gary Plummer. They have a, a rookie version of Leslie O'Neill, defensive end, very good pass rusher for a lot of years. So it, it should be a decent little matchup. And I did make some changes with the accelerated clock. You know, hopefully it speeds up the game a little bit and um, doesn't really drag on as much. Heck, this is a good one to call. I'd like to get the games less than less than 30 minutes. You know, all that talk about um, their offense, their weapons. Yeah, I, I did mention, like I said, that they're all getting older. So their ratings are not as good as some of the other prolific offenses on here. Nowhere's near as, as good as, you know, San Francisco's, uh, Miami's, Denver's. So I expect to, uh, to have a pretty good week against this group. I've not noticed if it's been the clock's been ticking down more. I think it has. And the way I understand it, the accelerated clock, if I'm remembering correctly, basically kind of sims the huddle time. Yeah, there we go. I saw it counting down. So it, it sim sims the um, the huddle time, the the time that you'd be transitioning back and forth you know from the huddle to the line and, and so on so it takes that into account if this game moves too quickly I may add it to five minutes next week and see how that works I'm gonna start with a strong backfield I really wish I had a fast quarterback so I could do that uh, bootleg purposely sometimes I do it accidentally but I'd like to be able to run it on on purpose you know I've I've, I've spent so much time and effort uh, trying to get Dickerson to be a big part of the running game and get it going against all the teams He's had about 20, 25 carries, but my quarterbacks have only had about 10, uh, 10 or so passes. So I'm going to try to, uh, you know, even that out a little bit. Get my quarterback a few more throws. I really wish uh, Trudeau was back.
Oh my gosh. My quarterbacks have been killing me when they're rolling to their right. And I, if they're right-handed, I tend to roll to the right a little more. If they're left-handed, I tend to roll to the left, which you know just makes the quarterback – they should should be a little more accurate if they're rolling to their strong, strong hand. But uh, my guys have not been that way this year. Oh, dear. And there's Leslie O'Neill that I mentioned. This may help his bid for the rookie of the year. Fumble recovery touchdown. And honestly, I didn't pay attention to if I was on the ground or not. Let me see if I can. Let's challenge it. Just it's big play. I don't think I can change it, but let's see. I think it was out well before I hit the ground. I just want to see who it was. Looks like Gary Plummer and uh, maybe Billy Ray Smith back there. There's O'Neill coming off of the block of Ut. Chasing down the play. Plummer comes over. Initial hit. I can't tell from that angle. Looks like his hip hit the ground, but I don't know if uh, the ball was out yet. Now, I was two for two last week, and I'm just taking a gamble of I'd love to uh, eh, get the touchdown reversed, but it didn't work out. And I'm learning, you know, this, as I said, is a 2008 version of this game. I use the highlight stick, <coughs> excuse me, um, quite a bit. And I'm learning that even though Dickerson is the best running back on the game, when you use the highlight stick, your your player, the ball carry, becomes a little more vulnerable of losing the ball or getting stripped. And it doesn't always do what I want it to do. So I may have to switch back to the um, cover-up. Good play by the linebacker. If I've got a linebacker in coverage like that, there's no way they should be able to guard my receiver. That's the matchup I want. It just didn't work out. And I'm going to have to get uh, a ball carry to the side and where I can really tell if, uh, if the cover-up, if, if my buttons are working like they're supposed to yeah that accelerated clock's gonna take a little getting used to and I may have to kinda of glance around and see if I can turn it off or not while I'm on offense oh my gosh there's O'Neal again so I'm single-handedly Making him, you know, a definite rookie of the year candidate. So he has one sack, one fumble recovery, and one touchdown. And we just now started the second quarter. All that talk about their offense not uh, being a great prolific offense, but their defense is kicking my butt. We need a turnover and, you know, possibly a scoop and score. I have no idea what he was doing on that. I don't know if the rush was getting to him and he was just getting away, you know, getting rid of it that quickly or what happened. Didn't look like there was a receiver really that close by. Oh, 
Oh, incomplete. I couldn't tell that he was trying to throw it. I thought it was a straight sack. At first, when I first saw it, I thought it was a fumble. Okay, 312 in the second quarter. So 312 to go in the half. Okay, there we go. So let's try the game plan. Um, I don't see any way to turn it off right now. I'll probably have to get into the settings and turn it off. And I may have to do that if it starts getting close. Because, man, yeah, that, it's kind of getting running down on me. Oh, I actually hit the dive button. Stupid mistakes like that kill me. Uh, let's. Hopefully they bring the safety up, and I get one on one on the outside with Hester, and and I can go deep. But I don't see it. Okay, there we go. There we go. You play long enough, everybody gets a chance to look like a genius. Uh, gotta be more aware of that clock. That's twice. Let's try to get Dickerson to the outside. I'll slide my protection. Okay, cover it up. And I think that's what I'm gonna try to try to make myself do is instead of going for the the broken tackles and the the highlight play, try to be conservative and and cover up. Can't afford those turnovers. I don't get a whole lot of big plays anyway. Uh, Brooks, Brooks maybe. Okay, good, good, good. There we go. Got to lead him on out there and let him run under it. I didn't look at my clock. Two. Okay, a minute 20. Trying to get Beach over the middle. Three. Barely snuck it over the defender's head. I'm surprised he didn't reach up and intercept it. And, you know, I can't remember Beach being a, a real big part of their actual, like, real-life offense. And there's Trudeau. I'll have to put him in there. He must be back. But, man, he dominated on uh, Tech Mobile for me. And, you know, he's a pretty good player here. So he's one of those guys that's better on the video game than maybe he was in real life. And speaking of Tech Mobile, um, yeah, I liked using Dickerson, but there were, man, there were just a couple of, a couple of guys that I, you know, they were, are infamous for their Tech Mobile character. Bo Jackson being one. I, I can't wait to see, you know, once I get to that draft and and can, you know, possibly get him into the game and see how he is. Um, Christian Okoye, you know, I. The Nigerian nightmare. It was great playing with him. Um, a couple of defensive guys. I'm trying to, you know, Lawrence Taylor was a beast. Um, I really liked Philadelphia at that time because they had a great, great defense. I liked Randall Cunningham. I would like to get Cunningham on my team here. Uh, I did a couple fantasy drafts just to kind of see what it was like. And um, I was able to get Cunningham on a couple of those, and it was had had a, had some fun with him on there, especially with my bootlegs and uh, you know just broken plays. He's not as fast on here as uh, what you might think he should be, but he was still by far the the fastest quarterback in the game right now.
we got lucky there. Del Rio was turned around every which way as uh, the back came out of the backfield. He looked like he was doing ballet out there spinning around. Now, as I said, you know, I've, I've told you in the past, this is his rookie, rookie character. So, um, hopefully, his awareness gets a little better and, and that nonsense straightens up. But you know, there he routinely gets planted on the ground. You know, gets pancaked. Um, he, like I said, looked like a ballerina out there spinning around. I need I need them my linebackers to progress and lead this defense. Okay, 44. I have three timeouts, two timeouts. My challenge went bad. Forgot about it. Let's go shotgun trips, tight end, sure. Uh, I'm gonna go wide. All right, let's hurry it up. Let's see who I have going where. One over the middle. Forgot about the motion. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to bring Trudeau in. Strategies, depth chart. Okay, no ill effects, it doesn't look like. In, in the comparison, very quickly, uh, Holgaboom's accuracy is 88. His power is 87. Awareness, 80. Agility, 53-54. Trudeau's is very similar. He doesn't have the awareness. Accuracy is only down one point, but he has a much stronger arm. So I'm going to go with Trudeau, and that's who I want to build around rookie season. You know, hopefully as we hit those checkpoints throughout the season and they have the progressions, he will surpass where Hogaboom is. Okay, let's try this again. And I forgot about, as I said, Dickerson going in motion. Okay, I'm looking at Brooks, uh, possibly Beach. And I can't tell who's on the outside of. It uh, uh, looks like Verdon. Did it again. Oh, gosh, I'm an idiot. So stupid. Come on. You are an idiot. Corn dogs, corn dogs, corn dogs. All right, let's rock and roll. Let's get this to work. Three, one. Ah, that's terrible. I wish I could have remembered which button threw it away. Let's try to. Get a sneak attack. We have five. No. One. Okay, and timeout. Timeout, deep attack, corners. Let's go three. I'm going to look for. I'm going to look for Dickerson coming out of the backfield and uh, Verdan coming uh, across the middle. And. Okay, good play. And um, I got lucky in the, the linebacker kept going inside. I don't. I don't know that he read the play correctly, and he kept moving toward the inside and opened it up for me a little bit. Okay, no timeouts, so regardless, I have to get out of bounds or I have to hurry up. I'm not doing that play. Chips bunch. Okay, one. And gosh, I don't like relying on my number three receiver, but I think that's where I'm going to attempt to go. Roll out, gun it, corner, perfect. I will take that. Man, that, that was good placement. And that was the you know the same type route where Hogaboom led the guy out of bounds earlier. And you know, oddly enough, Hogaboom has better accuracy. 
And I don't know if that's, you know, because Trudeau has a stronger arm, he gets it in there faster or, you know, kind of what's going on there. But that play was picture perfect and worked out exactly as I, I wanted it to, even though the receiver that I had to go to was not uh, one of my de more more dependable guys. Very good drive in the hurry up. And you know, one of the problems with the um, accelerated clock and you know going shorter minutes is you you pretty much have to pick one or the other. It's very hard to have a balanced attack and and have accurate statistics, I guess. This is a good one to call. So right now, I think my team probably has around 200 yards passing in the first quarter, That's or first half. That's pretty rock solid. Uh, the rushing game, I might have 20, 25 yards if I'm estimating correctly. Okay, 140 passing, 20, 22 rushing. So, I was close. Let's head toward the middle. And... Almost. Almost. Couldn't, I couldn't get out quick enough. Could not get away from him fast enough. Let's see if we can add the running game in just a little bit more. I think once I get settled, if I can average around 75 to 100 yards a game with uh, Dickerson, then I'll be I'll be happy with that. Crud, crud, crud. Okay, let's see. Fake. Let's go with Bentley. Okay, I'm going to look for the same play that I hit earlier with maybe the safety cheating up or, you know, getting a few successful runs. Maybe I can pull them up and, and hit over the top. Or I can just... Uh, that's one of the issues with having a slower than Christmas quarterback. It worked out perfectly for him to roll around that end on a, on a bootleg, but it didn't. Couldn't make it work. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. Three. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I was trying to push number four. Gosh, Amani. Some serious yards on this play. <sighs> oh, I must have hit the stupid Madden. Let's see. Gosh, Amari. Okay, I've got my outsides going on um, flies. Hit the wrong button again, and God. <laughs> oh my gosh, where's the ball at? The forty-eight, forty-eight. I'm not worried about this fair play nonsense. I'm worried about winning. Come on, what's up? Oh, 
How do I get rid of that? Now yeah, I'm going to have to cost myself time. Yeah. It's not going to hurt me to be backed up. But I am going to see if I can turn that off. Okay, dip charts, settings. game I know what I did I'd seen the fair play and I selected it thinking that it was a um, like an online thing so that you couldn't cheat you had to play fair it was some kind of um, you know something to prevent cheating and it turned around to bite me in the behind on that because There's no, well, I wouldn't choose to punt here, but whatever. I'm trying to pin them in. That's terrible. Here's a good defense for this situation. Yeah, on that last offensive play, though, I was trying to hit the number four guy and push the number three button. It's part of the controller mapping, and it, it really, some of the things just, do, they don't make sense. Give this one a try. And I'm not real sure how to, to fix them. Get one of my linebackers. There we go. Motions to back out. Empty backfield. Lobs it up. No play. Then we've really, you know, our defense has held their offense scoreless. Um, the only points they have are from that uh, fumble recovery and return. The scoop and score from O'Neal. Time to call a special team play. I'm not sure how to pronounce that name. Mojinjanko. Okay, Verdon. And spin. Up the field. Let's go single backfield. Let me see if I can hit this counter for a couple yards. I like this counter. This is one of my favorite runs. And I'm not because stupid accelerated clock. change it's a subtle change but oh my gosh that difference is just driving me crazy it is unreal how much havoc that stinking clock has made on me this game Oh, you cannot do that. Get up the field. It's like he uses all of his speed to get to the outside, and then when you try to turn upfield, he just, you know, he goes from an uh, Olympic sprinter to a guy walking with a walker. I cannot get that transition to work right. I can't figure it out. Ten seconds, okay, and that really kills me because I like to look around and see what the defense is doing. Oh my gosh, get that ball out of there a little quicker. 
I'm destroying. I should be up by two touchdowns or more. Two more touchdowns is what I already am. I mean, like, I should be up three scores. This is what I would call in this situation. Let's give Bickett a chance to join the party. I don't think I've keyed on him any. And that's probably why. I think that may have been um, Joe Jacoby on their line. Very good offensive lineman if that was him. I'll try to get a peek here. No, no, I was wrong. It, it's a guy I was thinking of, but it's I had to say the wrong name. It's uh, Jim Lachey. I think he ends up with the Redskins at some point or another and joins uh, Jacoby and the, the Hogs. And if ever I get my facts mixed up a little bit, I apologize. I'm not doing it on purpose. That's weird. Did not expect that one. I guess that's the point. 2.40 to go in the game. One touchdown lead. They are driving second and one. What? Kevin Green looked like he tripped over the line. My linebackers have not been part of this game at all. Third down and three, and he got it pretty easily, and Kevin Green is getting slung around like a rag doll. You should stop him with this play. <laughs> Terrible. Call this defense here. Oh, my gosh. Come on. Let's see what's going on. Let's go with Del Rio. I can't watch Green anymore. Tripping over lines. Oh, man. Really? I thought 25 had a shot at that one. And then somehow Michael Jordan morphed into a San Diego Charger uniform and came flying through the air with his tongue wagging. Oh, there we go. Just when I think you can't do it, you totally redeem yourself. That's what I'm talking about. You totally redeem yourself. And I'm probably going to delay a game penalty here. I can't make my adjustments like I like because I don't have the time. I do like that play, though. Let's try to bust it up in there. I'd like to have a receiver where I could try the reverse, but I've I've tried it a couple times with some pretty fast guys, and it has never never worked out positively for me. That's one of those games that are plays that I think they put in there to add some variety and, and to make it more realistic. But I've not seen it work yet. It may be one of those plays, though, that hardly ever, ever works. But when it does, it works big. Ah, uh, misread that block. I might have had a shot at a touchdown if I'd have read it correctly. Run into my own guys behind. At least I didn't fumble, Mark Sanchez.
I'd like to end up with a touchdown if I could get one. Time's running down a little bit. I'd like to kick this back to the left, but... Yeah, I know why, but why not? And I know my buddy Kenny Blankenship would say there's always a why not. And it's a fumble and return all the way, but not on this day. Okay, forgot my buttons for a minute. Thinking back about uh, some of the classic matches between myself and the Capo in the 1 2 3 on the Madden franchises. Okay, 21 7, we did uh, get the victory. I'll take a look at the stats here in just a second, see them through the rest of the week, and then we'll see who our matchup is in, in the next week. Okay, statistics. Um, it's still not a whole lot. Um, well, we had 14 attempts. Completion percentage not great, especially Trudeau, only 37%. Running game turned out to not be bad. I said about 75 yards. That well, that's what we ended up with. So we probably lost a couple of plays with the um, speed of the clock. Receiving, not not bad. I mean, I'd like to have a few more touches. Definitely like to have a few more touches. Um, defense, no sacks. We didn't even get near the quarterback. The one big interception by Glasgow. Nothing special with the return game. Yeah, 20, 25 yard average. That's about what he does. Nothing special out of the ordinary there. Okay, so we'll end the game. See him through the rest of the um, of the week. Okay, and we have the Jacksonville Jaguars, and they really shouldn't be very good. They're, you know, like an expansion team of made-up misfits. I think this is a team Theismann's on, so we'll check that out at the beginning of the next video. But uh, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it, and, uh, you know, I look forward to uh, seeing where the Colts end up. All right, catch you all next time.